Oh, uh, what I called to ask you about though was uh, actually uh, Stan Van Gundy, man. Uh, last last week, I, you know I don't like I don't like the Van Gundys, man. I, I, Jeff's an okay announcer, but it, with his hating ass, but um, and his little weird rules that he wants to change every single game. You want to change the NBA, but um, Stan has never I never been a fan of dude. I always felt that he contributed to the to the limitations of Dwight Howard's game. Because every time Dwight expressed any interest about doing anything more than just dunking and rebounding and blocking shots, he was like, nope. And I'm like, come on, dog. You got to put the carrot on the stick, dude. You got to give, you got to tell, you got to give dude a little bit of like, hey, man, maybe we could work out three, four jumpers a game. We could get, you know, get you a couple post moves or, you know, we could work on you passing out the double team and maybe we can get you that. Uh, I know you like, uh, you know, you like to dribble a little bit, something. And he always was like, we not doing that, dude. Um, I remember, uh. When Dwight came out after that press conference where they lost, uh, I think it was game five to Cleveland. And he was like, I ain't touched the ball in the fourth. Well, I'm the, supposed to be the star player. I ain't touching the rock at all in the fourth. I had four points. Jeff Van Gundy came out there and was like, yep, and that's how we're going to be doing it too, Dwight. Like it was nothing to him. So, so I'm, you know, it's, it's funny that he was so cold-blooded and whatnot when it came to Dwight. And he hears a rumor that somebody said that Dwight said that he might be trying to get rid of him. He ain't got fired yet. Keep that in mind. Ain't nobody actually call, called him to the carpet. He heard something. Now, I've been laid off before. You know how many goddamn rumors I heard about my job before I got fired or before I laid, got laid off? I heard rumors for two years. It was never, you know, uh, something where I had to come and do a press conference and all this shit. So, um, dude goes and blasts Dwight out in public. At the press conference, pretty much throwing dude under the bus. And how did he end up getting a pass for that, dude? Like, how did uh, everybody just universally decide, like, yo, this this is okay because we just don't like Dwight this much, that it's actually okay for a coach of an organization to come out, throw his players and his organization under the bus to make himself look better? Well, what I thought with Van Gundy, and the one thing with Van Gundy I wanted to give him a little credit for on this is, is I understood the idea that he's tired of Dwight coming in line, right? Because I have no doubt in my mind that Dwight Howard has tried, has tried to have him fired. And now I think it's a bad yeah. play on Dwight Howard's part. But at the same time, I'm not the one that has to work for Stan Van Gundy. And it doesn't look like the kind of guy I'd want to work for. Because the sky is always falling. Right. And people are like, no, these guys don't want a coach that holds them accountable. That's 100% not true about NBA players. NBA play people want structure, people want discipline, and they think the job of the coach is to do that. But they don't want to get, they don't want an overbearing guy that's just on them all the time, and there's always something wrong. <laughs> you know, look, Jerry Sloan coached in that league for 20-some years, and guys responded yeah. to the fact that he coached them. It got a little old at the end, but guys responded to the fact that he coached them. So that's not what the issue is. Dwight don't like playing for Stan, all right? Now, Dwight doesn't right. seem to get that you have to make a commitment to Orlando if you want them to fire the coach. Like, all those other guys you hear about them coaches getting run off because the, the star didn't like them, those guys hadn't been there long. Doug Collins had been there three years. Paul West said it only coached one full season uh, when he was with the Lakers. There's a, I mean, there's a couple other guys that we can name. Stan Van Gundy, the first time, he'd only that was his third year as a coach. So Dwight think he's going to get a yeah. moved out without signing an extension. He got this whole game backwards, right? So Stan goes out, and Stan says, I know this, da, da, da. Man, you could have rolled that out and everybody get to the end. Like, I don't blame you for wanting to set Dwight up to be, you know, to, to look like a sucker or whatever it was. But no, I have been fired many times and I've been fired in jobs that had microphones. And I ain't once get on the microphone while I was at work and start doing right. Doing where, where's that. the savvy? 